Right now, community concerns. Local families are feeling the impact of a local hospital ending inpatient services. How some people are responding to the change. Plus, an important vote on Walnut Acres. when County leaders are set to discuss the future of the troubled nursing home. And welcoming new citizens. We take you inside a naturalization ceremony happening right here in Rockford. From 13 WREX, your weather authority. This is 13 News at 10. Good evening, I'm Brittany Hardaway. A stamp of approval to close down more medical services on the west side of Rockford is now turning heads. Local leaders saying an overwhelming amount of communities are disappointed at the decision. 13 News' Cassandra Bruttle explains. For Ladarius Jackson, having his primary hospital just down the street made him feel at ease. Now he's concerned his family is at a disadvantage. It worries me greatly because it says to me that at some point the hospital is going to no longer be here at all. And the promise is made uh, for the Rockland Avenue complex uh, been broken promises time after time. And so that would not surprise me personally. That was the president for the Winnebago County Board of Health, a group designed to make sure health services are available throughout our communities. I do see that they have invested some dollars in the, the premises over there. Health care keeps changing and moving, and it depends on where you invest in your equipment and, and where you put it. And, how, how your patient loads look. We can say that they are still in town, but that is not the whole deal. Both the Jackson and board members have worked in healthcare. They know that when it comes to patient lives, time matters. Chronic illness in the populations on the west side and that it's harder for them to have time off to get to appointments, to follow through with um, taking their medications. While doors are closing at Mercy Health's Rockton Avenue campus, many hope a new focus of outpatient services will ramp up. That was Cassandra Bretto reporting. Mercy Health CEO Javon Bay cites financial concerns and staffing shortages as reasoning to closing services. Mercy Health says it has lost over $127 million in the last three years at both facilities.